welcome to Gus Japanese Cooking. Today I want to show you how to make Japanese style baby food. Okay, I need to change the angle of camera. So I usually cook with whole hands and freeze them. And in Japan, after five months old, baby starts eating baby food and they start eating rice porridge. And my daughter will be seven months old soon. So I'll show you what I have today. This is a carrot paste. And this is a potato and I mashed already. Then this is a sweet potato. And my daughter loves sweet potato. And I break like this. And this is a sea breams. And I want her to eat fish. So I usually prepare two kinds of fish. Like codfish and sea breams. And when I make a paste, I usually use this special tool. And these are mortar and pestle and grater and strainer. I've been using this tool since my son was born. It came with a special spoon, but I lost it. So I use another wood pestle. It came with this one. And this is spinach paste. And this is a small fish. And it was salty, so I pour hot water to reduce saltiness and this is silken tofu it has a good protein and I'm gonna put in hot water and these are a pumpkin my daughter loves pumpkin and sweet potato too and this is a frozen broccoli broccoli has a good uh, color and a nutrition so I try to use it Important carbohydrates. The container with blue lid is for my son. It has a steamed rice, and the yellow one is for my daughter. It has a porridge, rice porridge inside. I make a rice porridge with using a rice cooker. The rice size of the porridge is a little bit bigger, so I use container and after microwave, I mash so that my daughter can eat. And on the rice porridge, I put frozen veggies and fish that I prepared. Then I was using a special spoon that is designed for babies and I feed her. I also give her a kinako, it's a soybean powder. It has lots of protein. Then I feel I need more nutrition and starchy texture. I use the pre-made package. It's a soup. It's a vegetable soup, pumpkin soup and corn soup. Those helps a lot to make baby food. This is a powder milk set. And my daughter is has a huge appetite, same as me. So I give her a milk powder after eating a baby food. And I like this container. It has a three layers and you can change. And it's also convenient to bring it outside. You don't need to measure one by one. So I really recommend. Here's a solid type powder milk. So during quarantine, I use at home. And this is mineral water. I use this to control temperature. Okay, from now, I'll make a baby food in high speed. Okay, I'll boil broccoli and pumpkin with using special container. This is a heat resistance container for microwave. Then I will boil tofu in hot water. I usually boil tofu for 3 minutes, then purify the tofu. Then put in a freezer bag and flatten them. I really recommend to use trays as well. Now let's cut the veggies into small pieces. Now I cut the leaves part of broccoli and I eat the stems as a snack. It's so tasty. Then move to the freezer bag again and flatten them. Next, pumpkin. Please take out the skin of the pumpkin. Then purify pumpkin, same as tofu. It's a little bit tricky to mash pumpkin, but go for it. 
Then same as broccoli. And make sure to take out excess air in the back. Then we move to the freezer. I also give her apple and banana. I peel all of them and grate. Okay, now it's time to prepare lunch. So let's make a baby food for her. She usually eats a lot of lunch, so I decided to make a porridge this time. While I'm defrosting a rice porridge, I mash small fish, which is called shirasuboshi. Shirasuboshi is very convenient food. I mix with spinach and pumpkin sometimes. And for the toppings, I try to use the different ingredients that I use for the breakfast. And I chose spinach, uh, sweet potato, and carrot. And I mix uh, fish and rice porridge together. Then add carrot, spinach, and sweet potato. So each bag is flattened, so it's easy to break and put on the rice porridge. And to add more nutrition and color, I decided to add kinako, soybean powder, to add protein. And the heat of the rice porridge helps to defrost uh, toppings. But I pour excess hot water. Now I need more preparation. So I put her in a baby chair. And I put the belt since she's so energetic. Then change the angle of the chair. Then set the table. Now it's time to eat. Itadakimasu! Since I want her to remember that each ingredient, so I give her a little by little. I don't mix all of them. Oh, she's aware of camera today. Oh, she also likes the bread in a powder milk. She really likes bread, maybe DNA. And she will be 7 months old soon, so she will try dashi soup stock. I will try to film another video when she gets a little bit older. When you have a question about this video or comment, please write us a message. So this is how I make baby food for my family. Thank you for watching everyone. See you next time. Bye!